Wow. Wow. That's new. Yep. Are we gonna... Yep. Alright. Welcome back, everybody. I'm JT the Dusty Dutchman. I'm Aaron from Bunch. And we are once again back at Women for our annual update video. And this year, once again, there are a lot of them. As you've seen in years past, every time we come up here, there's all kinds of new stuff to look at and ride. But today, we're going to focus on four of our favorite things that we think you need to know about. So near and dear to our hearts, of course, is a nice, cold, tasty beverage. Mm -hmm. Am I right? Oh, yeah. And they just so happen to have some updates at the bar and apparel shop. So it's a great place to go if you need some gear, some beer, or you just want to see a friendly face. Gear. Beer and friendly face. So after a quick run up Earn It, the climbing trail here, we're back at the hub. And this year, your options up here have gotten just a little bit spicier with a new trail called Airmail. And if the name is any indication, I think we're gonna hit some jumps today. So it starts with the beginning of Send It. I really like the beginning of this. Yeah. Airmail to the right. And here we go. See how much pedaling we have to do on this trail. Okay, a little drop here. All right, first little pack of jumps there. All right, next section of jumps. Oh, God. That was another little fun little section. Now I heard about a step up. That's supposed to be kind of difficult. That must be coming up soon here. Nope. Let's go look at that real quick. If you don't like speed jump it, you over jump it. Way, way big. And then you got a roller. Yeah. And then this thing, you got an option, like option to the left for a drop, which I feel like would make things worse. This, no, that's not good. But this is like a little lippier than it should be. Yeah, I feel like that's not lippy enough and this is too lippy. Yeah. Fast for conditions. Don't go into this trail thinking it's just like a straight up downhill flow trail and you're gonna like clear all the jumps first time around. It ain't, it ain't that, right? Just relax. But just so we're all on the same page here, you do have to pedal. It's not gonna be easy. And that step up, I think I've hit it three times now and I still haven't got it. Oh, nope. Nice. So if you ride anything like me, it'll take you a couple times to get it all dialed in, but that's okay. That's why we come out here. So 
So next up on the new at Windman list is this all newly renovated skills park. So what used to be just a little pump track is now like a whole area with multiple lines and cool stuff for beginners all the way to some expert lines that actually have like wood takeoff tabletops. So it's pretty cool. Well, as we make our way back up to the hub again for another run, I think now is as, as good a time as any to you know, remind everybody that absolutely everything you see here was paid for by donations. If you want to show your support for what's going on here and help to continue the progress and build more trails and all the other cool stuff that they got going on, the absolute best way to show your support is through their membership program. Aaron and I have been members for a couple years now and it's super easy to do. Obviously it goes towards an amazing cause. And I will link in the description where you need to go to find out more. So in last year's video, we rode the bridge trail for the first time and it wasn't even done yet. New, new bridge on the way, one being born. There's going to be some drops there, but it still became my favorite trail out here in the summer and in the winter. Now it's actually what I understand about 95% done. And now it's really my favorite trail here. And you'll see why. All right, I like this little option here. Okay. Oh, I'm getting, oh, I just got this. Good, good time right there. A little of everything. So for those of us that have to travel to ride at Windman, I do like to touch on lodging because that's a very important part to a successful weekend. So for this trip, we ended up back at the Sportsman's Motel and Resort because of its charm, the amenities, and its location because it's only two minutes down the road from Windman, which is extremely convenient. The other part that's cool is it's right on the South Turtle Lake, which is part of the Turtle Lake chain. And we did take advantage of a little bit of lake life activities. Well, it was a hell of a weekend riding at Windman. Once again, we're you know a little dressed up. We're gonna go have some dinner to celebrate. So we hope you enjoyed our four new favorite things at Windman. Thanks again to Windman for continuing to progress everything that you're doing over there. We uh, can't wait to come back and this place really just feels like home to us. And until the next one, don't forget that when you get outside and get on your bike, good things will happen. Oh, and if you want to see what windmill looks like in the winter, I could just like just like put, put it right up here. Yeah, I mean, check or, that out. Or There's some, some really good drone work by this guy. I mean, it's a little chilly, but it feels cold. Just, just check it out. It, it looks fantastic. It's You'll cool. love it. Check it out.